The affected family members who are currently being fenced in claim that the portion where they have erected their shack is their ancestral land passed on to them by their late parents. They allege the land used was their late parents' crop fields before it was surveyed by Rundu Town Council in 2009. An affected family member, Herta Nkumpawu, secured the place in 2018, but only erected a shack in 2019 told NBC News that they have nowhere else to go. As we speak, we don't know where we are going should they tell us that we need to relocate. We are also not so sure how will the entire relocation process unfold and where we are going to put our belongings. Contrary to Nkumpa's claim, another long-time Dama resident claimed that the affected residents were actually aware that the plot was reserved for the new school. Marta Kasiku said several meetings were held where the residents were informed of the development of the new school on that particular plot. Everyone in this vicinity knows that this place was earmarked for the school. That's why no one made an attempt to settle here. One of my neighbors wanted to erect a structure inside the school ground. But when we advised her not to, she removed her poles and relocated somewhere else. Timotius Kerete, Ndama East Suburb Committee's former chairperson, confirmed that he specifically engaged the affected residents who ignored his advice. As a suburb committee, we came here to inform these people that they must not settle here. It is a school ground. But to our surprise, we were told that they cannot listen to us as we are not the ones that allocated them the plots. On his part, Rundu Town CEO Olavina Tunnel confirmed that the affected residents will be evicted as they are occupying the land illegally. Olavi stated that their case will only be considered if they can provide them with proof that their parents indeed lived there before 1992 when new legislations came into effect. The Ministry of Education indicated that they are fencing off the area to safeguard the newly constructed school from vandalism. Conducted for comment, Kabango East Education Director Fanyo Kapapero said the fencing exercise will be put on hold for now to give room for the Rundu Town Council to address the matter with the affected residents. Wilfred Nyambe, NBC News, Rundu.